when you're watching the workouts right now, this time of the year, the two-year-olds is the big thing here at Los Alamitos. You will start watching these two-year-old works. What's the first thing that you're looking for when you're watching these videos? Okay, well, I go down to the video room to watch them so I can put, put them in uh, slow motion. I can go back and forth, and I always take a look at the way a horse breaks, which is very important, whether a horse maintains a straight course, but more importantly to me is how much of a hold the jockey will have on the horse and how well he gallops out past the bar because the work's only 220 yards and the first race is going to be 300 yards so it's to me more important what a horse does late in the workout as long as he has decent gait habits so I try to look at the break away from the gate to make sure that the horse isn't a slow breaker and if he makes mistakes away from the gate I'll take that into consideration as well but mainly like I said it's how the horse finishes the workout whether the jockey has a tight hold on the horse and that's how I grade my workouts you know so so far I've seen two exceptional workouts uh, Wicked Affair and Coleman 47 I thought both of those horses displayed what I'm talking about how about as far as the babies being green a lot of that you know a lot of people talk about a baby being green uh, when they're moving inward or outward um, how much do you put how much stock do you put into that do you think that's something that they can overcome quickly well a lot, a lot of times it depends who's aboard the horse in the morning as well so if you have a exercise rider instead of a polished rider on the horse and you see a an experienced rider get on the horse when it runs that makes a big difference that the horse might be able to improve a lot but yeah I put a lot of consideration into that but the good part is when a horse works twice you're able to look at the same horse twice the horse makes the same mistake the second time, you're a little concerned, but if he corrects himself the second time, then that tells me a lot. So you always like to see the improvement from the first drill to the second drill, not so much time-wise as whether the horse is erratic in, the, in his mannerisms down the track and all that. Since you mentioned the time, how much stock do you put on the times? Again, I know you've talked about uh, all the other oh. facets that go into it, but from a horse that works right away at 12-3, I don't like to see a horse work too fast early because it tells you that the horse probably isn't going to improve a lot down the road. So you like to see a big improvement from the first to the second drill. And I don't like to see a horse ask a lot in the workout. But you don't want to see him strangled either. But a lot of times these horses that are running 12-2 or 12-3, that's as good as they're going to run. And you can usually tell in the workout if the horse has any kind of right to improve. And finally, You've been watching uh, these these horses for so many years. Uh, trainer habits, you know, do you see a, a, you know some trainers that maybe work horses in a specific pattern that you have been able to pick up? Well, a trainer like Christopher Odell, generally the riders for Odell have a pretty good hold on the horses. They don't let the horses do a lot in the morning, so his horses won't work as fast as some of the other trainers. And certain trainers like to see their horses work faster than others. So. You know, the Paul Jones horses tend to work pretty quick, depending on, on he has so many horses, and a Jaime Gomez's horses will work quick, but then you have, like, when Donna MacArthur was here and Sam Thompson was bored, they'd strangle those horses down, so the times were never quite as fast, and with Eduardo Nicasio working the majority of the Christopher O'Dell horses, and he's had riders in the past, uh, I think when Tony Guyman was here, that they wouldn't let the horse do too much in the morning, so those times would be a little bit slower.